and welcome to Spotlight on Newcastle County, which features all things Newcastle County, Delaware. I'm your host, Melody Kitchen. You never know who we're going to talk to or where we're going to visit. For today's show, I'm pleased to welcome Michael Harris to the NCC TV studio. Mike is from the county's Department of Special Services, and he's here to speak with us about the county's Great Schools Clean Streams 2015 contest. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, so the Great Schools Clean Streams 2015 contest is about protecting the county sewer system. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, the county operates the sanitary sewer system throughout Newcastle County. We have about 1,500 miles of sanitary sewer pipe that we have to keep clean and free-flowing. Sure. And um, one of the things that we do, we go out and check, and a lot of times we'll find out that it is blocked from grease that gets into our system from cooking. Yeah. When the sewer does get blocked, um, bad things happen. The sewer either overflows into somebody's basement, your neighbor's basement, a yard, yeah. or the environment. So we decided we need to do some public education and outreach to teach people that when you have grease, you should, um, instead of pouring it down the drain, you should pour it into a can or a container. And uh, when that container gets full, you can dump it in the trash. And actually, I think a lot of people don't know that, uh, don't know that it actually will cause a problem like that. Right. No, yeah. I know that you and Daniel Sullivan, who also works with special services, have been working with, uh, what it's water words that work. Right, correct. Um, and I know that it's a public awareness campaign. How would you describe the collaboration between that campaign and our special services department? Well, Dan and his, his staff, they go out and they inspect restaurants, restaurants and commercial kitchens throughout the okay. county. There's about 1,100 of them, and they have the potential to really dump a lot of grease into our system and cause problems. Sure. We I'm map about. where our blockages happen. Um, we, we check things, and we've noticed from that mapping that there are blockages that happen in residential areas as well, far away from any restaurants. So we know that residents are contributing to the problem as well. So we knew we needed a public education and outreach campaign. We partner with Waterworks that work. They're a marketing firm that specializes in um, helping municipalities like the county um, handle clean water issues and um, you know get things under control and get the word out to the public. Sure. What was the idea behind having schools become involved with that campaign? Well, schools are very. Um, it's we feel feel it's a win-win for the the county and schools in mm -hmm. this situation. Kids are very influential on their parents. They if they can get the message to school and they can take it home to their parents and they can take it home to the grandparents, neighbors, scout leaders, whoever, and let them know what a problem it is. Um, people are very inclined to, you know, follow to the lead to their children, yeah. I know pers from personal experience in my family, somebody came in from Delaware Solid Waste Authority to our kids' school long before mandatory recycling came into place. They brought home, a f kids brought home a flyer, the next thing you know we're out buying like the recycling containers and we started recycling in our family just from our kids sure. having seen a presentation in school. So we also think it's a win for the schools because we know schools, things, budgets are tight for schools these days. They don't have enough funding to do extra things for um, extra <coughs> school supplies. I have friends that are teachers and they spend money out of their own pockets buying school supplies. So it's a win for them as well. They can win real prizes to, to buy school supplies. Can you tell us uh, how many schools or teams are involved and how many can win the contest? Well, it's open to all the schools in Newcastle County. Every school is invited to participate. We will have um, we have two separate categories. We have a public school, charter school category, and a private school category. Mm -hmm. There'll be five prize winners in each category, so there'll be 10 winners okay. that will win supplies. And are there any particular rules that you would like the schools to know about, things that they should be following, guidelines? Right. Well, we have a, we have a website. It's greatschoolscleanstreams.org. Mm -hmm. um, we'd like everybody to go on there. The rule, complete rules are on the website, but it's, it's really simple. The school must be, schools must be located within Newcastle County. They have to mm -hmm. be local schools. And you have to be a resident of Newcastle County 18 or over to vote, or to, to take the pledge. Okay. And have you, I know that you said that people, you tend to find that far away from restaurants, far away from anything commercial, you're yeah. finding big problems with people dumping grease down the drain. And I know that, for example, I, I didn't know that it was such a problem. And there are people out there that think maybe, oh, I'll mix it with some palm olive, something, a grease cutter, and right. that should solve the problem. Yeah. What would you say to people that would think that? Uh, we wish it was that simple, but it, it, it's really not going to work. I mean, palm olive or other detergents or soaps may help it 
move down through the trap in your dream, but it's going to accumulate further down the line. That could be in your lateral, you know, which would expen require an expensive dig up of your property, or it could be further down the line, but it's not a long-term effective solution. Right. right. Now, back to the contest, what are the prizes, essentially, for the schools? Well, I mentioned the two categories, you mm -hmm. know, the, the public school, charter school category, and the private school category. Uh, the first prize winner in each of those categories will win $1,300 worth of gift certificates to a school supply clearinghouse. Sure. Um, $800 for second place, $500 for third place, $300 for first honorable mention, and $300 for second honorable mention. Okay, so it sounds like a lot of schools could really benefit from the program. They could. And um, I suppose that, that should do it for today, but I did want to extend an invitation to our winners of the, of the contest to come here to Spotlight if they so choose and just talk a little bit about their winning ideas. Um, and I wanted to thank you for coming in today and thank you for sharing this information with everyone. Sure, thank you very much. Now, before we wrap up today, is there anything else that you'd like to add? I'd just like to point our, our viewers to the website. It's www.greatschoolscleanstreams.org. Um, okay. There they can find out all the details of the contest. They can learn more about the problem we're having, and they can take a simple pledge that should only take a few minutes. They can assign that pledge to the school of their choice, and the school of their choice um, can potentially win prizes if they get the most pledges. Well, well thank you so much for coming in today. Thank and you very I much. And I hope that it's a success. Thank you very much. Well, that wraps up this edition of Spotlight on Newcastle County. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Please keep it tuned to NCC TV for news and information on Newcastle County, Delaware. For executive producer Jim McDonald, director Tony Prado, and the NCC TV crew members, this is Melody Kitchen. Thank you for watching. Take care.